And we just talked about that lack of time. And one of the things that does happen, and I know I face this myself, is that it negatively affects your emotions. Now, you become frustrated. Um, at some point, you maybe even feel guilty that you just can't do what everyone else is doing. And for most people, it goes a step further. You become really just overwhelmed and then you throw up your hands and you have that fuck it moment. Like, why bother? However, there's an upside. Now, what are the benefits? Now, if we do try to dial this in and it's not the lack of time, but we try to make the time in some way, shape or form, then it helps us do things like get better at our own time management. So trying to fit the fitness thing in may even help us in other things like work commitments and stuff because we start to prioritize things for us. We put ourselves first. We may be, for some people, we get improved focus. Now, I can throw countless studies at you, scientific this, backed by so-and-so there, but realistically, when people have got a better health and fitness regime, it does do things like helping dial in your focus and therefore you do feel like you've got more energy. Now, maybe your first session you feel a bit shagged, but after that you do feel like you've got more energy. You do, in time, reduce the stress level. Now, exercise in itself, training in itself, is a stress, but when done right, it's a positive stress. Now, what's the kicker to all of this? Accomplishment. I did it. It's like turning up to your first Spartan beast and running you know, the 21Ks, and then turning up to the next one and doing an ultra and hitting 42Ks and 50Ks. Who gives a shit how long it takes? But when you cross the finish line, it's that sense of accomplishment. It's that sense that I did it, I finished it. And therefore, addressing those fears, those frustrations, those negative emotions in time will help benefit us.